Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. In this episode, I'd like to welcome you first to our new channel and we're going to talk about blepharitis uh, because this is a very common problem that can cause significant eye irritation and discomfort. It's also known as meibomian gland dysfunction, which is more the medical term, but basically what it is is inflammation and poor oil production in the oil glands that help lubricate the eye. Now if you remember back to the tear film, there's two important components of the tears, the watery part and the oily part. This oily part comes from the oil glands that run just behind the eyelashes and then release oils onto the eye. Over time, many people with these oil glands, they can become plugged or more thick than they should be and not flow properly. Uh, when people notice this, it can cause a form of dry eye syndrome where the tears don't stick around long enough or they break up too soon and they can get redness, irritation, and their vision can be inconsistent as the tears don't have a nice smooth film over the surface of their eye. Uh, we talked a little bit about blepharitis during episode number 63 where we talked about rosacea. We'll put the link for that because it causes a lot of the similar type problems and basically there's a few treatments that we can do for people with blepharitis. First of all, if they use artificial tears, it may be enough to make the eye more smooth, better lubricated, and get a lot of people more comfortable with just that. But in other people where this is not enough, we need to improve the oil production. Uh, one way to do this is with warm compresses and scrubbing the eyelids. So by taking a clean cloth or something warm under hot water, uh, as hot as the patients can stand without burning themselves, they can put it over their eye for four minutes to help loosen up these oils. Then I recommend taking a mild soap or a baby shampoo and scrubbing and massaging right where the eyelashes are to help move these oils and get them flowing better. This can be done twice a day as a preventative maintenance to keep the oils flowing the best they can. Beyond this, some people may need medications to help. Doxycycline and other uh, antibiotics in the tetracycline family are very good for making the oils thinner and flow better and some people take a low dose of this for a long time and can get some good improvement. Uh, other things like fish oil taken by mouth can also help thin the oils and get more people comfortable. Uh, beyond this, other types of antibiotics, particularly erythromycin that we can use as an ointment or azithromycin, which it comes as a drop form, can be placed on the eye at bedtime to decrease inflammation because we like those effects in addition to the antibiotic effects and also help with the oil production with blepharitis. So if you have any questions about this common cause of eye discomfort, please post. We'll be happy to answer them and we hope to see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.